Interim Report on the Aswell Surveillance Mission The subject was born into a family of doctors who conducted research on plagues. As well as modern medicine, he pursues knowledge in numerous other fields, including history, martial arts, fine arts, literature, and human culture. His broad knowledge and intellectual pursuits gained him entry into the organization. He contributes greatly to our group, including his research on ecological theory and artifacts, particularly those who've lost their humanity. In recognition of his deeds, he was rewarded with a seat among the Twelve, the organization's supreme decision-making body. Currently, the subject is assigned to our branch in Northern Europe, researching the evil seed phenomenon, which occurred yesterday. This ends the report. The following document contains an interaction with the subject. I have a hypothesis. I believe the evil seed was caused by what is known as the cursed sword, the yin to the yang of the spirit sword, the symbol of the Aval organization. The fragment of the cursed sword, gathered by intelligence, emitted a wavelength similar to the one observed from that pillar of light. Furthermore, those filthy miscreants who deplore the human race emit the same wavelength as the cursed sword. In other words, individual variations aside, the evil seed steals the minds of those with the same wavelength, turning them into fiends. This sword dares to populate the world with fiends who threaten my beloved human race. Disgraceful, isn't it? It is. Still, that abominable evil seed has sparked an idea in my mind. But let's leave that aside for the moment. In regards to the cause of the evil seed, hmm, if my hypothesis is correct, then it lies with the one who wields the cursed sword, the Azure Knight. the report. The following document contains an interaction with the subject. At last, at long last, it is complete! I've created a prototype of a device that will be the key to freeing the human race from its shackles! That glove, you mean? This is no mere glove! Fitted with replicated fragments of the Spirit Sword and the Cursed Sword, it utilizes their wavelengths to unleash a power capable of annihilating the fiends! But... Fear not. As I stated, I'm using but replicas of fragments from the Cursed and Spirit Swords. I have not violated the organization's cause as espoused by the Oath. Death to outsiders! They who reject humanity, and to those who would wreak havoc with their power. On to the testing! <laughs> First, let's go outside and see what this device can do. <sighs> There's no cause for alarm. That filth is an outsider I captured for this very purpose. Let the experience begin! Yeah! 
excellently done. Everything seems to have worked perfectly. However, more power is needed to produce the key. What is this key? <laughs> Why, it's the key to my plan to save the human race, of course. In time, this glove will produce it. But, alas, that moment isn't now. I need to find a way to increase its output. Ideally, I would create a wavelength close to that of the evil seed. But using fiends like those we encounter does not generate enough power. But no matter. <laughs> we can worry about the methods later. That aside, I think it's time you knew about my plan to save humanity. It has no doubt been on your mind, correct? Fissure produces fiends similar to the ones we all know and despise, but that are even stronger. If I just sit around here twiddling my thumbs, our precious human brethren in the surrounding area may be transformed into filthy fiends. Onward to the astral fissure to investigate and to exterminate. A stronger wavelength? This is most promising. If you maggots want to pass through here in one piece, give us everything you got. W what's that? Hmm. Though their low intelligence concerns me, they still deserve love. I shall accept the love they have to give.
What you trying to do? You're crazy is what you are! Oh dear, why is your tail between your legs all of a sudden? Well, I do love that look of fear in your eyes. Your bluster and limited vocabulary was so precious. But please, it's as you said. Forgive me. I'll do anything. Will you now? In that case, how about you all fight each other to the death right now? The victor goes free. Huh? You refuse, you die. So take up your weapons and use them to kill your beloved friends. Your life depends on it. Ah! the names of those you just fought and your relation to them? Oh, I, uh... Don't test my patience. The one collapsed right there is John. Known him since our group started. Oh my! And who's that over there? He's me younger brother and I... I... Such a fine expression! Finally you realize what you have done! Do continue and be quick about it. Lament to me! <laughs> Are you done? Well, fair enough. You put on a spectacular performance, so it would be unkind of me to be angry. Why so furious? Do not misunderstand my intentions. I adore the human race. Indeed. To me, humans are worthy of love like no other. The way they are always so delicately balanced between joy and despair, love and hate, reason and emotion, it gives me the strength to forge on. And so I must give them my all in return. Be a shining ray of light that saves them. Let's proceed. If my estimates are correct, the astral fissure is the foundation of that shining ray of light. conjecture that this is the cause of the increased filth in the area. While I do need to consider their extermination, for now I'll try to enhance my device. <clears throat> well, it goes without saying that the astral fissure would be filled with powerful waves. This explains the filth appearing. How deplorable. It enrages me to think that such abominations could breathe the same air.
wonder why I chose not to seize them. Naturally, I wish to see all fiends destroyed, along with any monsters who pose a threat to the human race. What annoys me most is that they dare resemble my beloved humans. Such blasphemy. My experiments and observations on the filth have concluded. All that remains is to eradicate them. Now, it's time to enhance the device. Oh my! Do you see? Do you see? The fragment's waves and its output have increased. What's more, the astral fissure is gone. Is this assimilation? Absorption? Interesting. This is a remarkable discovery. With this, my plan can proceed. What? The fragment? It's shattered. The replica must have been too weak to handle the increase in power. So, it has to be the genuine article or nothing. The organization must be on high alert by now. They've been fooled by your false reports, and they worship the replica spirit sword fragment. Even though the two fragments have been recovered. To think we could be controlled like puppets. My, what a pleasure this is. The leader of intelligence himself coming to say goodbye. You got here quicker than I anticipated. Well done. Why have you betrayed the organization, huh? <laughs> what have you done? Him? Well, I realized I was being observed. But when I asked him to stop, he refused. So I did what needed to be done. Fret not. His life is not in danger. While my plan for saving humanity is important, I do not take pleasure in killing a beloved human. Regardless, you really didn't suspect a thing, did you? Were you not even slightly suspicious about only receiving written reports from your observer? An evil apostate such as you could never save the human race. Your words cut me deep. I have a vision, a plan to save humanity, which I'm attempting to put into effect. Have you gone mad? Let me speak frankly. The evil seed was imperfect, for it was released merely as a result of the cursed sword. But by combining the powers of the spirit sword and the cursed sword, the evil seed can achieve perfection. When that happens, the world will be rid of fiends, elevating humanity to its rightful place and freeing them from their twisted fate. So that is why you needed a fragment of the spirit sword. Precisely. My research has laid the foundation for the model to produce a perfect evil seed. The ultimate seed. I no longer require the organization. I sympathize with your cause, and I have learned much about the spirit and cursed swords. But it is that cause which shackles me. My research has concluded, and with my plan to save humanity complete, you have all become shackles about my legs. I can see there is no reasoning with you. You leave me no choice but to slay you here and now. <laughs> Do you think you can? You may be gross sword master, but you can't expect to defeat me. As thanks for your coming here personally, allow me to show you what happens when you combine the spirit and cursed swords.
Where did you obtain such power? You can still stand? I suppose I should have expected no less from one of the twelve. Sorry to keep you waiting. Finally, some backup. Kindly take care of this- I was careless to assume you were the only betrayer. How dare you oppose Lord Aswell, miserable swine! Let's leave it at that. Yes, Master. All your pursuers have been taken care of. Well done. The time for research, experiments, and observations is at an end. We now enter the implementation phase. My beloved human darlings, I shall show you a shining ray of light that will free you all from suffering and sorrow. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history.